Good luck. Right, it's official. Jam making is returning to the kitchens of Great Britain thanks to a growing trend in using homegrown produce and the rise in popularity of do-it-yourself activities. Yes. The flavoured, I was going to say flavoured pastime, <laughs> the favoured pastime of our grandmother seems to be enjoying somewhat of a revival. In recent years, knitting, another skill from yesteryear, has enjoyed similar success with the recent growth of stitch and bitch groups. They used to be called sewing bees in my granny's day, but they've been popping up around the country. Uh, but what, what skills did your granny have that you wish that you'd inherited? Oh, I think it's brilliant they're bringing jam making. Yeah. I don't, why did we ever stop? <laughs> We've all got trees. That's the thing, isn't it? If you've got a tree, make something out of it. I've got an oak tree. <coughs> there you are, make a table. I mean, knitting. Why don't we all knit? I don't understand why we don't knit. <laughs> we always used to knit little baby clothes and everything. And the last time I knitted, I knitted it for my ex-husband, but I didn't follow the instructions and it just said carry on. So I've got this carving where it's like this. And I to wrap the tank kit in, in the end because to keep the tank warm because it was so big. So I don't knit anymore. But I think we should order. And grandmas, my oh. great grandma, the mother, she used to knit um, dishcloths, my great grandma. Oh, I remember that. Do you? Yeah. And she used to pull rugs. Yeah. Have you ever done? Yeah. Pull a rug. Only for under people's feet. No. Yeah. And, and, uh, and listen, for a man, it's the, I'm going to say it's the only thing I can pull these yeah. days. Um, but pulling rugs and making little carpets and everything, I think it's no, fantastic. I absolutely agree. I know what you mean. My grand, both my grands were lovely. And I, if I was off school sick, I used to go to my Nana Garrett's. Mm. And she was fantastic. Yeah. There, was, there was nothing she didn't teach me, actually. Everything from, from knitting. She used to do the Aran knitting, you know, which is very yeah. complicated, with like a cable stitch and a, and a blackberry stitch. Very modern. Blackberries, yeah, blackberry, like, yeah. Yes. So she used to do all that, but and also she used to she used to make jam. But the best thing was lemon curd. And oh. when she got a microwave oven, oh, she was so excited. Oh, look at this owl! Like, I've met me lemon curd in here. It's fantastic. Look at this. And she'd be there with a the microwave because she was you know she was quite quite modern, really advanced. She taught me two other fantastic things that I've never forgotten. She taught me how to play cards. She loved cards. We play cards, and she taught me about horse racing because she loved to bet <laughs> and she used to teach me about making accumulators and all these and I was only 10. <laughs> I do not condone this ladies and gentlemen but she, she used to teach me all about making bets and, and she'd, she'd be there with the lemon curd and the form book on the side you know oh, yeah. she'd read like this and in the microwave. Well, my my granny was a, a ferocious knitter I mean she just was constantly just knit yeah. knit 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 and, uh, and she did used to go to the sewing bee I think it was on a Wednesday and uh, it's funny because I always used to think as my granny's being really old then but she would only been sort of in her late 50s, 50s or yeah. something but yeah. you know she was granny and I remember uh, but sometimes we'd be staying with her obviously mum and dad would go out she'd be babysitting so it'd be sewing bee time so we'd head off to other old ladies houses basically within an hour you couldn't see to the end of the room <laughs> with a cigarette like that <laughs> oh! <laughs> it, was, that was br it was brilliant oh. Oh, everything stank of cigarette smoke but it was it was brilliant <laughs> I envy you all because I don't want this show to be sympathy for me but I didn't have a granny oh. Oh. No, I didn't actually. Um, my mum's mum had died before I was born, and my dad's mum, I vaguely remember her, but I think she was about 185. <laughs> and she stayed in the box room, that's all I remember. Okay. I saw her one day and I never saw her again. She could still be there. Um, but anyway, um, they're investigating that. No, I'm only messing. No, I only knew her as this really, she was too old to do, you know, to make jam. With me, to make jam, to make oh. it even to the toilet. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have that luxury, and I always wanted it. I yeah. always wanted a granny. Stop laughing at me, granny's misfortune. <laughs> anyway, so, but with my first boyfriend, his parents were, were older, obviously. <laughs> I just think you didn't have a granny, so you knitted one. I knitted one. <laughs> <laughs> she is a pot of jam now. Um, so, yes, yeah, so my, my boyfriend at the time, his mum, they used to live out in the country, and she took me and we went blackberry picking and then we made blackberry jam oh, and all of that. And I, honestly, it was like being a five-year-old again. Adopted I absolutely, a granny. I adopted a granny. Oh, oh. Oh. I had no confidence and no granny. <laughs> Drop one. Uh, I could do that bit. <laughs> <laughs> one out of three ain't bad, is it? <laughs> After the
the break is a man we'd all 